Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, follow, comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I wanna thank everyone that does like watching and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen folks, there's a link tree down below. It has the links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there. Follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I'll talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen folks. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We're going to be sitting down watching the Jets and Vikings game together. All right. We'll be doing a live game reaction for that game. We'll also be doing a live radio show directly after the game as well, giving all the takes of, you know, what we saw in the game and what happened. So call in. All right. Right here. You won't have to go nowhere. You're watching me. All right. But you can call in to the radio show live directly after the game. I can't wait to talk to you folks about it. Let's go back and forth. I love talking and going back and forth with folks about this football team. So with that said and done and put to the side, I've come to talk to you folks today about the New York Jets upcoming game against the Minnesota Vikings. Whoa, we got quite a task on our hands, all right? This, this Vikings team is serious business, all right? They have the players, they have the ability, they have the coaching as well, and the Jets have to be on their P's and Q's against this squad. Now, my first question when I talk about going into this game against the Vikings is that the coaching. I'm wondering if Sulla's going to have these guys ready to go with their heads on straight, firing on all cylinders out the gate against the Vikings, okay? Kevin O'Connell, the Vikings head coach, is a really good coach, all right? The Vikings have the players. They have the ability, all right? They're 9-2. and two. If you do not come out and take care of business from the time that whistle blows to the time the last whistle blows and the game's over... They'll put you away. You cannot come out sleepwalking on the road. We've seen it in the past, right? We've seen this in the past with the New York Jets and other coaches where they'll come out kind of sleepwalking on the road, look lethargic in the first half and not have things together already, and then boom, before you know it, you're down. You get down against the Vikings, they'll put you away. They have the talent on this football team to absolutely just close the door on you and you'll be done. So I want to see Sulla make sure that these guys come out the gate ready to go and not lethargic. Now, first thing I want to really focus on is the New York Jets offense, okay? You look at this offense, Mike White's coming back again this week. He's going to be the New York Jets starter at quarterback, all right? He had a really good game against the Bears and put some things together. The offense looked alive under him, had over 300 yards throwing, had three TDs. You know, we need to see a repeat performance from him in this game. I need to see if he can put back-to-back -back solid performances together. That's a that's the big question with Mike White. All right, now again, Mike White's going to be the starter. Joe Flacco is going to be the backup. And yet again this week, Zach Wilson will be inactive. I want to get y'all thoughts about this. What are your thoughts about Wilson being inactive two weeks in a row? All right, he was inactive and benched against the Bears, and he's inactive in this game. So give me y'all thoughts below about that situation. Now, my thing with Mike White is can he continue to be quick deciphering things out there and can he get the ball out of his hands quickly, all right? That's the that's the two big questions I have first. And the other question I have is I know what the Vikings are going to try to do. They're going to try to bring guys up, right, and make those short to intermediate throws basically non-existent. And I think what the Vikings are going to try to do is they're going to ask Mike White to beat them deep. That's what he's going to have to do, I think, in this football game. Um, and I think the big the big reason they're going to try to do that is Zardarius Smith and D Hunter, solid pass rushers in this league. They can really put things together. Now, I know that the Vikings are 32nd right now in the league in passing, but they have the guys that can rush the passer and get to a quarterback if they're given time. So I expect, you know, the Vikings to kind of press and really try to get their hands on our guys to make it really tough to get the timing to throw down the field, right? Because, again, Zardarius is a really good pass rusher, and so is Hunter. So I want to see if Mike White is going to be able to recognize that and beat them deep. Again, the, lap, the game against the Bears, he, he taught the Bears, hey, listen, you want to try that game, and I'll smoke you as well because he hit Garrett Wilson for a 54-yard touchdown. So he can throw him. I just want to see if he's going to be able to throw it against this Vikings defense because they have talent. Also, a big thing is about that as well, him beating the Vikings deep, if that's what he's going to have to do, the protection is going to have to be there. The Jets' offensive line is dealing with an injury, all right? Cedric Odobuji, he's going to be out for this football game, it's looking like. He's doubtful at this point. It's looking like he's not going to go. He's dealing with the injury. So Max Mitchell, more than likely, is going to be the New York Jets' starting right tackle 
in this game against the Vikings. Now, Max Mitchell has been phenomenal, right? He came back from injury last week. I don't, I don't believe he started, but he did play in the game because Cedric went down. Um, but then, you know, again, in this game, he's, it was looking like he's going to be the starter. And he was phenomenal, again, before he went down from the injury. And it was crazy because he's a rookie, and he's a guy we didn't think we were going to get to have to ask to be a starter. But when he's out there, because of the issues at right tackle that we had, the injuries, guess what? Him and AVT, when they were playing together on that right side, that was the best part of our offensive line. So I want to see what's going to happen with the pressure that's going to be at Mike White. We have to properly protect him if he's going to be able to beat the Vikings deep when they ask him. Because again, the Vikings also have Patrick Peterson and Harrison Smith. Patrick Peterson is a veteran corner. Harrison Smith is one of the best, one of the better safeties in the league, right? So I think another thing that will help Mike White as well is a solid running game. Against the Bears, Bam Knight and Ty Johnson looked really good. They actually sat James Robinson as a healthy and active. He came out this week talking about how furious he was about that. Whoa, <laughs> he was not happy about being a healthy scratch. But Sella also talked about after the game that he felt like there was a lot of meat being left on the bone. Now, a lot of reports are talking about how, you know, they're trying to see if James Robinson can get it together in this one-cut system and really get going. But I think James Robinson is a solid runner. I think that, you know, Sella just wanted to go with some fresh legs, and he implemented Bam Knight, and Ty Johnson went off as well. I mean, we looked really good. Now, this week, I think they probably will return to giving James Robinson the ball, giving him some carries. And I think that this week he's going to be running with a level of fury that you have not seen yet. Again, he came out talking about how upset he was about it, how he wants to work for everything. He doesn't want anything handed to him. And he's going to continue to put his head down and continue to grind. So that guy's going to be running with purpose this week. So Michael Carter as well, dealing with the injury, is looking like he's going to be out dealing with an ankle injury. So he's probably not going to play. So if they do, you know, it's probably going to be James White, Knight and Ty Johnson, but we'll see, you know, what happens going forward with that running back situation. Maybe they make James White inactive again this week. I don't know. Now you look at the New York Jets wide receiver. Listen, Garrett Wilson, I expect him to have a good game. I want to see Elijah Moore put some things together as well. This was a guy that really actually was productive against the Bears, had a reemergence with our offense as far as production-wise. I want to see if he's going to be able to get the ball in his hands this week too. And the big question is Corey Davis. Corey Davis didn't do too much uh, last week. I think he had like one catch. I want to see if they find ways to get the ball in his hands more early and often in this football game as well. Tyler Conklin, I expect to have solid production and, a, and an impact in this game too. I think that he's going to be a guy that, that Mike White's going to be able to find as a blanket. So you go over to the Jets defense, and the first thing I'm thinking about this defense is, listen, you got to get pressure on Kirk Cousins. I'm being completely honest with you. I understand the Vikings have the seventh ranked passing offense in this league, but if you get pressure on Kirk Cousins, it can turn into some turnovers. That boy get wild sometimes, okay? He get wild sometimes, and the Vikings O-line is dealing with an injury as well. They're starting left tackle. Derisaw has a concussion. Now, he is within the protocol. I believe he was out there practicing with them today, but they're still saying it doesn't look good as far as him starting in this upcoming game against the Jets. So, they're, you know, down to their backup left tackle. So let's give them all that they can handle there. Let's give them all that they can handle. You know, again, Carl Lawson, Jermaine Johnson, Michael Clemens, Huff, who's been really, really good this year, making big plays for us. Let's let's absolutely put the pressure on this boy and get to him. Because if you do, I'm just telling you, he'll give it up. All right? He'll give it up. We've seen it. Okay? Uh, the other big matchup here, Sawson Reed versus Justin Jefferson and Thielen. Listen, he's... Justin Jefferson is really good, you know. We've seen him do a lot of work in this league. And so is Thielen. He's the two really solid wide receivers. And they, you know, go get the football. Kirk throws it up, they go get it. You know, these are really solid route runners. So here's yet another test for our cornerbacks. Also, Jalen Rigger. I want to see how he matches up with Michael Carter in the slot, man. I know they move him around as well. We'll see how they utilize Carter in this upcoming game, too. So that's going to be a really solid matchup as well. Dalvin Cook, I think, is going to be huge in this game, too. I think they're going to try to run at the Jets a bit, and that just screams Quentin Williams, destroying people. Keep in mind, Sheldon Rankins is back. That boy is back. He's back from his elbow injury, practice today, practice a couple days, and, uh, you know, is going to be out there and starting for the New York Jets in this upcoming game as well. And another weapon that I look at on the Vikings that a lot of people, I think, kind of lose in the shuffle, TJ Hawkinson. This is a guy that's newly acquired, and let me tell you something, T.J. Hawkinson is a, a very solid tight end in this league. New York Jets have a history of having issues covering tight ends. 
So they're going to be tested there. Mosley, Quincy Williams, Jordan Whitehead, who they sometimes bring down and help cover the, cover the tight end as well, uh, you know, in our safety position. Listen, we've got to shut this guy down too. If he gets going, man, it could be really tough for us. Really, really tough for us. He's a big body. He's a good weapon. He can run, man. This guy's athletic. Like, he can go up and get it. He can do it all. And he's really picked up their offense quickly since he was been acquired by the Vikings. Uh, the Vikings also have a solid special teams, too. And I'm looking at our special teams, and there's been some hiccups here and there. The punt return led up for a touchdown against the Patriots. Uh, you know, Zerline hit a 57-yarder last week, but he also missed a 53-yarder. We've seen bobbled, uh, you know, field goal snaps. Uh, we got to clean those things up, okay? Because the Vikings also have a solid punt returner in Rigger and a kick returner in Guanu. He's solid too. So we got to look out for these guys and don't lose them when they're taking off down the field with the football in their hands. And we again, we saw that that punt return, uh, you know, be taken back too. So, you know, we got guys like Justin Hardy. He's also trying to make the Pro Bowl. Please go vote for him because uh, he's a really good player. Uh, so we got to look out for that as well. So with all that said, I'm going to take the New York Jets, man. I'm going to take the New York Jets to keep rolling. I'm going to take the Jets to beat the Vikings in a squeaker. I'm going to tell you, it's going to be close. I'm taking the Jets to beat the Vikings 27 to 24. 27 to 24. I'm taking the Jets. I think it's close. The Jets win the game on a late drive and kick a field goal and take the game. That's what I am taking. I'm taking the Jets to beat the Vikings 27 to 24. Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. Let's go back and forth. What are your thoughts about the Jets offense? Mike White, do you expect a repeat performance? What about the defense? You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think about the defense. Do you think Sauce and Reed will be able to shut down Jefferson and Thielen? What about our pass rush? Let me know what you folks think. Comment down below. Let's go back and forth. You folks have a good one. Peace.